Do you need to show the weather forecast on your WordPress website, but aren't sure how to do this? By adding an easy to use plugin to your site, you can add weather forecasts for any location around the world on any page or post. My name is Daniel from Envato Tuts Plus. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over how you can display weather forecasts on your website using the premium Envato Market Code Canyon plugin, Simple Weather Plugin. We'll go over how you can adjust the settings on this plugin and how you can show this forecast in a visually appealing way. You can grab this helpful weather plugin on the popular marketplace Code Canyon. Code Canyon has an extensive library of the best weather WordPress plugins ever created. With a cheap one-time payment, you can purchase these high quality weather WordPress plugins and add this important feature to your website. Not only can you get this weather plugin from Code Canyon, but you can also find a massive library of over 7,000 premium WordPress plugins that are sure to take your site to the next level. So now let's set up the simple weather plugin on our WordPress website. We're going to adjust the settings of the plugin, add it to a post and customize the appearance and layout, and also add the simple weather plugin to one of our widgets in the footer of our website. So once you have installed the plugin, go ahead and head on over to settings and click on simple weather. From there, a menu will pop up where we will adjust a few settings that will be applicable to all instances of simple weather. First, we're gonna go ahead and change the default measuring units to Fahrenheit, and we'll leave the default weather station to openweathermap.org and leave the lazy load weather on. That way our website will load faster. And then we'll head on over to the advanced tab and we'll go ahead and change the default weather check to every 10 minutes. That way the weather plugin will get updated every 10 minutes. And then we'll go ahead and click save settings. So now we will go ahead and add our simple weather plugin to a post on our website. So go up to posts and click add new and title this weather. And the simple weather plugin can be added to our website by using short codes. And the short codes that we can use for this plugin are in the documentation that is provided when you download the plugin. There are many different customizations that you can make to the Simple Weather plugin by customizing the shortcode to have the features and styling that you want. So we'll go ahead and go over the different implementation of the shortcodes that way we can get a better understanding of what this plugin is capable of and how you can input the weather with the shortcodes. So first we'll go over to our documentation that was provided with the plugin download. And we'll go to the section shortcode usage. So first we'll go over the very simple implementation of this plugin and we'll just add a location and have the plugin display on our website. And to do this, we simply copy and paste this shortcode here, which has the simple weather and location. So we'll go back to our website, go into the body of the page, click the plus sign, click shortcode, and then add this shortcode to the line. And for location, we can put in any location in the world so now we'll click publish and we'll preview the page. So you can see that the weather is now displayed on the far left hand side of our screen and it displays two days worth of weather. So ideally we would like to have the weather in the center of our post here. So we'll need to adjust the format and you can see we can use three different parameters to adjust the display of the weather, the text align, display and style. So to have this be more centered, we're going to use the display parameter and include the word block as in this little short code right here. So we can go ahead and copy this and go back to our little post here, have a space after location, and then paste the display equals quotation mark block. And we'll click update. And we'll refresh our page. And we can now see it is centered, which is exactly what we want. Another addition that we'd want to make is adding more days of the weather to be displayed. Let's say you'd like to add four days worth of a weather forecast. We'll go back into our shortcode and add in the parameter days four, and then click update. We'll refresh the page. And we can now see four days worth of weather as well as the current day, Thursday. Now let's say we'd like to have the weather for a very specific location, not necessarily just the location of a big city. We can also input latitude and longitude coordinates into the shortcode to display weather in this specific area. So what we can do is type into Google longitude and latitude of a specific city. So let's do this for Los Angeles. So here are the coordinates for Los Angeles, the longitude and latitude. 
So we'll copy the first one. And instead of location, we'll have latitude and longitude. We'll put the equal sign, parentheses, paste the number, and then we'll add in longitude, equals, quotation marks, and then add in the second number here. And then we'll click update. And now we have our new weather forecast based off the latitude and longitude. Another type of implementation that you'd want to use for this plugin is to have the weather display for the location that your visitor is in. Through IP geolocation, the simple weather plugin can target where the user is and display the weather accordingly. We can do this by adding the location equals auto parameter. So we'll go ahead and remove the longitude and latitude, do location equals auto. We'll go ahead and click update. And then we could see our weather forecast for our current location. Another area that we'd like to display this simple weather plugin is in our widgets, specifically in the footer of our website. We can go over to appearance themes, click on customize, then click on widgets, and then click on footer one, which is the main footer for our website, and click add widget. From here, you can scroll down to the simple weather widget and click on this. And then we can add in the weather widget with customizations through this menu. So the widget title will have weather. Weather station, we'll leave it at open weather map. And then the location, we'll keep it at location. You can add in coordinates and again, do the auto function where it displays the forecast based off where the visitor is. And we'll just do the default London UK here. We can change it to Fahrenheit or Celsius. And we can have the number of days that the forecast shows. We'll have six. We can also determine the weather check intervals. We'll set it to every page refresh and we'll leave the response time out at 30 seconds. Language at English. We can choose many different languages. You can also change the background color and text color if you'd like and have your own API key if you choose to do so. So we'll go ahead and click done. We can see the weather widget was added on the left hand side. And if we scroll down, we can now see the widget display the weather in the footer of our website in Celsius. So you can see that it's really easy to add the simple weather plugin to your website and customize it to any location through the use of coordinates or simply just typing in the city. And by adjusting the shortcode, we can create a custom display for our website. And again, be sure to check out the documentation for this plugin as it goes over even more customization that you can make to your weather plugin that might be useful for your website. Thank you so much for checking out this video, everyone. If you like this little tutorial and would like to see more WordPress tutorials, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already. And don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new videos we post. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you next time.